Okay, so I'm trying to get the smoke crate that I picked up the other day attached to my scooter. First thing I need to do is actually like clean the milk crate because it's got a bunch of gunk on it. And then bolt it down to this. And I also got this wire lid thing. Or at least I'm hoping to use it as a lid. Uh, and so eventually I'll need to like have it on a hinge or something. I don't know exactly how that's gonna work yet. I'll have to run to Home Depot, I guess. And get something that'll let me open and close it and maybe lock. That would be cool. But first thing I need to do is clean it up. So I'm going to get some degreaser and then hose it down and let it dry and then run to Home Depot and get spray paint and hopefully whatever mounting hardware I need, which I haven't quite figured out yet. Get some like rubber to cut down on vibrations so it's not like super rattly and then put that underneath get some like u-bolts to hold it down and that should be good i think hopefully it'll at least let me go to like the grocery store and shit Rinse it off first. That's in case. Yeah. How does this work? So I'm going to let this sit on it for a bit and then find a sponge that I can scrub it down with or something. Scrub it down. Found a sponge? it off and then do the inside. Oh, what the fuck? Why did this change? Also, I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm probably doing this wrong, but whatever. I still have a frame. Okay. Oh, I can put this back.
I have no idea if any of this is gonna work. Okay, well I'm gonna prop this up to dry and then go to Home Depot and get some paint and hardware. So I'll be back soon. Probably find somewhere in the sun. Anyways, I did the first coat, so now it's time for the second real quick, after a few minutes of drying. Okay, we'll let that dry for uh, another few minutes and flip it over and start on the inside. Okay, so I've got it fit up as a test fit using three of the U-bolts and one of the big square U-bolts. Uh, the square one is actually a little bit too long where the threads aren't long enough, so it's very loose, but I'm hoping the weather stripping that I got as a sort of rubber, uh, what did it call it? Well, anyways, it, it will absorb some space, I hope. But this looks pretty good. And I think the hinges, I don't know exactly how that's going to work. Because this does not really sit flat. I'm thinking I can just screw them in and then bend this down. Um, I guess I could flip it upside down, but that's kind of weird. And then just clip these roundy bits off. That would be totally fine. Okay, we'll just do that. And then that way it'll sit flush. Don't know exactly how I'm gonna attach the hinges. They're just little like God, these are heavy. Uh, just little flappy hinges like this. So I think I can screw in there. And then I think for the other side, I will just cut this sheet of brass that I got into like a bracket and screw up into it like that. Then I'll just screw down the hinge down into the plastic, I think. And then I also have a little latch and a lock. All right, all right. Well, let's get the uh, thing bolted down first. All right. So I need this. I need some Loctite. Got locked tonight. And then I'll just cut off the extra bolts. Those that are way too long. Yeah. Okay, so I need to cut the weather right now. Weirdly, Home Depot apparently doesn't sell just like a small sheet of rubber. Oh fuck. It's just through the whole time I you know it's just I probably could use this. Oh well. Whatever. Uh, okay, let's see. I need to do these one at a time. Let's start with the I gotta remember I need to do the lock type last after I cut the lights off. Paints, it's 
it's been about an hour since I finished the last, or hour and a half since I finished the last coat. The paint's still a little sticky to the touch, but it's not coming off on my fingers, so it's good enough. stripping on this bracket. Because it's got some sticky stuff on it and hopefully it'll stay on. Who knows? I figure even if the adhesive comes off, which it almost certainly will, uh, the pressure from the basket will keep it on there. This is a little bit, well, it's a lot softer than what I was looking for, but make do with what you can find, I guess. That's not quite on there, right? But that'll work. Okay. And maybe I'll use my other U-bolt to go like that. That'll hold it against this. So I'm gonna put this back up here. It feels much better, actually. I should have put these nuts back on. Okay, let's just take all these apart. We can do some test fitting again. Fuck, fuck. Well, those are gone. trees for screws and shit. Maybe next time I'm at Lowe's or whatever. Oh, it can't go through there. There's no hole for it. Unless I drill it. And then it's going to be kind of a tight fit. Weather stripping. On these. Just need a little bit. in the U-bolt, like that. That's kind of weird, but again, hopefully the pressure keeps it there. And same thing on the bracket part. Get rid of all this stupid paper shit. Before it gets everywhere. Okay, so we'll do a test fitting, then use a marker to mark how long the bolts need to be cut to. Take them out again, cut them off, and then do Loctite. And 
obviously I want all the nuts to be on the inside of the basket. For when I lock it, it's a little bit more secure, although it's never going to be super secure. You can just reach your hand in through the sides. Which, I don't know, it's kind of a feature. That's mm, kind of legal. I don't like that. You might be asking, should this vise be bolted down? And the answer is yes, but it's not. So here we go. Hopefully I don't kill myself. I should get gloves. Also, the better tool for this job would, of course, be an angle grinder, but I don't have one, so we're making do. Or at least I don't have one yet. Okay. Supposedly, this thing can cut metal. Respect. There's probably a better way to do this, but it really sucks that this isn't bolted down. question, do the bolts still go on? Like a charm, wow. Fuck. Hey, there we go. This would be a lot less risky if I had a die and tap set, but I don't, so. That's one of four. down there, so that's fine. There we go. Oh. Oop. Right. There we go. Easy. The thread, does the bolt still go on? Sure does. God. That kind of shit's easy. Alright, I'm not going to check the other one because I am confident it's fine. Confident. recommend these multi-tools, they're amazing. Although an angle grinder would probably do pretty much all the same shit. Alright. Alright, so now we just take the Loctite. Where's my paper towel? Maybe 
this anymore. Uh, okay. Oh, I should get that picture out so I can see where these go. Can't use the phone with the gloves. Okay, so... This one goes one diamond down. Here. There. There. Okay, so how do we do the Loctite on this? Uh, Probably should have put it on the nut. No. Do I have to cut that off? Kind of looks like it. Uh, shake well. Just uh, stick it on there. It sets in 20 minutes. Okay, I guess I'll shake it. This is the blue Loctite, not the red stuff. Okay. Clip the little end off. Just clip the little end. Okay. Come on. There we go. Oh shit, I got it everywhere. Fuck. Alright. Holy shit, this stuff's impossible to work with. It just goes everywhere. Okay, new plan. Shake it well enough? I thought this was way thicker than it is, apparently. That's not doing a whole lot. Like that. Well, it's whatever it is. Okay, so let's learn from our mistakes. Where's the picture? It's two diamonds up. So like here. We'll put the Loctite on before the nuts. I really like these earbuds, but they fall out all the time. I think I have little baby ear canals. Okay. Another one. One and a half diamonds up. Right here. Oh. Last one. And then we just tighten them all up. That. And this. 
Oh, I just realized. I didn't match all these. Yeah, that's probably fine. I just, I just cut them instead of making sure they were all like the same length or whatever, and putting them back in the, where they were. Oops. I need like eight hands for this. I really think that big square bracket's not doing anything. I should probably take it off. If I had like a deep socket scent, I would probably use that. But I don't. Maybe a regular socket would work, but I'm already into it. Oh yeah, that's solid. Ow, my back. Okay, the square bracket's not doing anything, I'm gonna take it off. Good news is, I did manage to get some Loctite in the front. Not, you know, a lot, but... Okay. That's on there. Sweet. Alright, turns out tin snips aren't going to quite cut out on the wire, so... Multi-tool again. much heavier gauge or whatever, better quality than those bolts, or I don't know what's up. Damn. Also, the drawer needs to fuck up. plate. So now I just need to attach them to the wire thing. And I'm not sure... Oh shit. Uh, spacing is going to be an issue. actually get screwed into. Like, there's no way to do that. So I have to do brass plates on both sides. Okay. What if we 
we skip the basket for now and just do the holes? Because I was doing in the wrong fucking hell. I was screwing in the wrong direction. Well, shit. Do I just cut new brass plates? Yeah, I'll just cut new brass plates. Okay. Be right back. Okay, I drilled the holes. So now, theoretically, this I hope not there because it won't go well Convoluted. This cannot be the best way to do this. I should go actually make sure the spacing is right. Well, it looks like garbage, but I think it'll work. I'll just have to like file those off or something. Okay, now I need more brass duvets. Okay. Way early on the spacing. just bent instead of going through. So I've already got two of the outer screws on. Oh, one is super easy.
hot damn. Looks like shit. But it works. For some value it works. file those off and then I'll put weather stripping over them, but that's good enough for now.